the daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. I don't give a fuck about them. Fuck them. They look too much like they dad. And they cold blooded like they sound a, like they dad. Yeah, beat the kids' ass just for that. Shit. Hey, well, they you see the woman, they just go nuts, just be, start beating the shit out of the kids. Yeah. Especially the boy. Yeah, you know we mainly grew up. We all grew up with that shit. Yeah, mainly the boy. They call they call us evil with the fuck. We're talking about some dear mama. Fuck that song, dear mama. And she even said, even though you crack fiend mama. <laughs> Bam! He, he, pretty, he pretty much said, even though you didn't do shit for me, mama, you smoke crack and you suck the dick. Right. Was, uh, you still know you're a wicked piece of shit. <laughs> it was a good line, even though you was a wicked, lost ass, confused ass nigga, man. That's why most like put him to death. Yeah. He had the largest, loudest voice out there for the black woman, man. Yeah. Keep Too your fun. head up. <laughs> Brenda! Got a baby. You see what happened? You seen the description was bad. Talk about Brenda's on the baby in the goddamn trash can, man. Go to show you a wicked ass woman, man. Throw the baby in the trash can. You're supposed to feel sorry for someone threw the baby in the trash can. She couldn't, she didn't want to be a mother. What a time. They said she got molested or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, she did get molested. What the scriptures say? Curse when we come in? Yeah. Curse when we go out. <laughs> a lot of these bitches, man, they acting like they trying to blame the father. I mean, they pieces of shit too. I mean, right. don't curse your father, right. anyways. Yeah. Cause they try to say, you know, they, you know, they left my children. But that bitch, if she, if she didn't have no child support, you think she'll be having having babies left alive? Hell no. They, they, the only reason why they whipped that dumbass child is because they get they get help from the government, not yep. because they they love that child. Cause they regretting it like, oh, don't get no children. Dude. Regretting everything they did. Right, Nine right. times out of ten, they left the nigga woman anyway, cause she wickedness. But look, <laughs> gotta get away from that. But way. in this country, if you're a woman, if you don't take care of your kids, and if you're you know lazy, you get child support section eight EBT. But if you're a man, if you can't take care of your kids, you get locked up. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of sense does that make? <laughs> Some asshole backward shit. It's like the, you know the man can't fall. It's not allowed to fall in hard times, but the woman she she can she she can. Do, be broke as hell, whatever. She's a strong woman. You know, the law says that the man don't even have uh, no kind of nothing when it comes to the child. So the woman, the woman has one percent. Right you know that's bullshit. Because we well, you know the truth though. Because that's why when uh, when a man has a child, he takes the man's last name, not the woman. Right. That's right. because the the right. child the children belong to the man, not the woman. And hey, where did they come from? They, they come, come from our nutsack. They man. come from the seed. Everything's about the seed. That's why in the, uh, in the ancient world, the, the, the new king was was always, uh, the, the heir to the throne was always the king's son, right. his firstborn son. It wasn't never a woman. Now they got queens. There wasn't no such thing as a queen in the ancient world. A queen was a prostitute. <laughs> Doesn't that actually mean prostitute? Means prostitute. We looked it up. You looked it up for once. Ain't no damn queens. Because, you know, back at, going back to the kings, because the king would actually lead his nation in the battle from the front, not from the rear. King you know David. what I mean? Like King David. Oh, Abraham. Abraham. Oh, oh, yeah. Abraham got, was a... It, we would be forgetting that Abraham was a beast, buddy. He, 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 he took out the Elamite king, was it? Uh, he was going hard, bro. There was a big battle with the book of Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Was Wasn't down. Abraham a lot together battle one day? Yeah. Getting down, man. I mean, you can forget Abraham was, you know, he was a, a warrior. Right. Deuteronomy 28 and 18. Cursed shall be the fruit of the body, thy body. Yep. And the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. So you can see it. Our children are cursed. Our children are degenerate. Our food's degenerated. You know, you go look at the little, uh, little bullshit fruits and, uh, and greens you get at the grocery store. It's all shriveled up. All apples, all, all unhealthy. Little tiny little apples. That you goes, see how small the apples be? Yeah, that goes back to all that. All of all, back to the so-called white man. Though, man. Just apple, everything's tiny. Yeah, we got GMO food, GMO babies. We got actually genetic, genetically modified children. All the GMOs everybody been eating done altered your DNA structure. You know what I mean? Look how small the leaf of spinach is. Yeah, it's small as hell. You get a little ass bag too. Yeah. With air. You buy air. Yeah, buy air. It just links back up to the so-called white bed, though, man. 
go to the store. Uh, what's his name? What's that nigga? Ishmael? Where the fuck is Goddamn nation. Ishmael. You go to the store. I was about to start this morning or just a couple hours ago, whatever. I, I was like, hey, you got your shit's inspired. I mean, that shit can be, that shit can be, I'll be looking, I'll be just looking at the shit. That shit be old as hell. I'm like, dude, your shit's inspired. You don't care. That's like, no, no, he said June, uh, June or whatever. I said, dude, he said July, whatever. Like, never mind, whatever. Just, that's how he get deals though. He buy expired old shit about to expire. Yeah, Nobody. About to expire. Jake, they don't look at the ingredients. They don't look at the, the expired. Hell thing. no. Just, uh, buy it it smelled it. nothing. It's a restaurant. It was a uh, place that got shut down. It was on uh, Livingston in Ohio. They was buying. They was. They, they, he was getting the uh, food from out the trash can from uh, out of Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hundred percent profit. He was getting fucking trash. He was getting them little meat they threw out from Kroger. Oh, that's nasty. And we cooking it and selling it to the people, man. Ain't no fuck. At the end of the day, man, these other natures, man, they hate you, man. Shit, McDonald's is straight up selling you McChildren sandwiches. <laughs> they actually, you know, McDonald's, there's actually McDonald's and Burger Kings that yeah. tested positive for human DNA and in meat. And I know you've seen a video of a guy set the food, the McDonald's food, and the little grill, set it on fire, but it didn't catch on fire. But this oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Your body down. Yep. They, 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 they got ice cream. You see the ice cream at Walmart that don't melt? That don't melt. <laughs> when I was locked up, man, we had, we actually, when I was locked up, they was feeding us poison because the cheese did not melt for nothing. No matter what you did to that cheese. This thing would it do when, this color. thing would it do when it get in your intestines. It rotten. It you, your intestines can't break that down. Like in the workhouse, bro, the juice. Yeah, the it juice is going to the juice is spill on the ground and it leave like a like it eat through the concrete. Damn, even the juice. Like what the fuck? What that one at the bread? Like that one, secret. I know. I was eating. I like that. That like that prison. That that jail food we got in New York. That they gave me. Oh, that sandwich. We kept a sandwich from when we. I was in jail in New York. I promise you, the sandwich lasted for months and months. <laughs> it, it was never molded. I was like, what, like, what? I actually smuggled a sandwich out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, uh, what's another food that don't perish? Oh, a fucking Twinkie. Oh, a Twinkie. Twinkie don't expire. All them preservatives? Yeah, the fuck? White man got a good Yeah, because they put all these preservatives up in the food to make, they give it a longer shelf life. Yeah. You know, but when that, that, that's not natural. You ain't supposed to be putting all them preservatives in your body. Nah. I got preserved. So, are uh, we just coming out with truth, though? You know. So, so uh, go ahead. My bad. Wait, you get that? No, no, I got it. Ezekiel four and thirteen, and Yahweh said, "Even thus shall the children of Israel, Israel, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I would drive them." Right, because that's why we eat our defiled bread now. None of the food we eat is natural no more. That's why they got to come up with a new store called Organic Foods. And if, well, organic just means regular food. It's like, you know, because everything else is a science experiment. Half, you know, they say 80% of the corn that we eat is genetically modified. And almost all the food you eat come from corn. If you drink pop every day, all that pop you drink, Coke, Pepsi, it all got high fructose corn syrup in it. It's all genetically modified. And it's tearing your body up and it, it gives you cancer. In fact, the FDA, the FDA Ben came out talking about uh, most of the food is cloned. It's not even real food you eat. No, nope. and none of us, none of us real. It's all made in a laboratory. All in the laboratory, man. Oh, then they make like the corn is genetically modified to kill insects, so the insects don't eat the crops. So they actually design insect repellent and put it inside the DNA of the corn. It, it kills the bugs. So if it kills the bugs, what do you think it does to a human? You know, if people. They go with that though. You go think about the next time you eat a bag of Fritos. You know what Fritos is made out of? Genetically modified corn. Matthew 24 and 22. It says, And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. For the elect's sake, man. Yep. So we praying that these days get shortened. We not here just praying for the America. Peace. Like, yeah, praying for peace. <laughs> we praying that the Lord destroys this place, man. Yeah, that's I mean, that's why being, what you getting saved from, from the destruction you what you eat. They say like uh they say like I believe it was like it was a high ass number of rain. It was Monsanto yeah. fucking breathing, that shit everything is everything is killing you. You know what I'm saying? You have Water. sex with a woman, you gotta be careful. You gotta wear a condom. You yep. eat something, you gotta pray over it. 
you know Everything is polluted. Everything. But the scriptures in Matthew, what he said, you gonna eat poison in that day? You gonna yeah, drink poison and live. Poison yep. that day. Oh yeah, drink poison. The government actually, hey, the government actually literally poisons the water supply. Oh. The the, uh, the the city's waters they put fluoride in the water and they know it causes brain damage. Harvard University came out with a study and said fluoridated water causes brain damage, but and they still put it in the water. You can go to Coastside right now. Go in the bathroom. People don't even see it, but it's a little sign when you piss it, and it tells you they was putting fluoride in the water since like 19 something or something like that. I think it was right after World War II when they started it. Yeah, so there it is. They telling you you getting poisoned, but y'all don't care any. As a matter of fact, they, the white man doing a good job anyway. Yeah, I hope he puts more fluoride in the water. <laughs> Actually, they, yeah, <laughs> they they get, need to give y'all an extra dose. <laughs> I, I get it. I'm going for this guy. Call, uh, call out the scripture. Uh, Go and get it. So that's probably why it's not coming. I don't know why it's not coming up. Those other scriptures coming up on poison, but that key one we're talking about is not coming up. What? With a drink? drink it's in Mark. Oh, the end yeah, of Mark. That's what it is, Mark. Yep. I got to quit on real quick. I think it's the last chapter of Mark. Sorry. Jeremiah, what, Jeremiah 12 and 4. How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither? For the wickedness of them that dwell therein, the beasts are consumed and the birds because they said, he shall not see our last uh, end. Verse Read that again. It says, Jeremiah 12 and 4, How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed and the birds because they said, He shall not see our last end. Yeah, so everything in this land has been destroyed, been polluted. The animals are being destroyed. Look at how they're raising the cattle. Just think, how, how, many, how many cows are these people eating? They eating a whole lot of cows. Where do you get these cows from? Cows, the cows are suffering. They genetically modified the cows. They pumping them full of antibiotics. They, 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 they doing horrible shit to them, man. They, like back in the ancient world, man, we loved our cattle, man. As a matter of fact, we, 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 we didn't even eat the cattle like that. Well, man. you'd say prayers over them yeah. before you slaughter them. felt bad. These motherfuckers, yeah. these devils, man. Yeah, they feeding them corn and shit. They supposed to feed, they supposed to feed them grass. They yeah. feeding them candy with plastic wrappers and everything. <laughs> Feeding them other cows. Yeah, other, yeah, they feed them whatever they can get. Whatever's cheapest is what they feed them. And they suffer it. They suffer. The animals are even suffering, man. That's fucked up. The man. chickens, the KFC got GMO chickens with no beaks. Yeah, yeah. No beaks and no feathers. Yeah. Y'all, y'all eating some some Fuck GMO that. chickens. We're living in a horrible nightmare. Mark 16 and 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they should be cut, show the cut. Yeah. Nope. Talking about that. But for real, that scripture really talking about the neck, though, man. They ain't talking about you fucking two thirds, man. Right, right. Yeah, we gotta get that aboard. Yeah, two thirds is eating poisons and dying. Yeah, fucking <laughs> two thirds, man. They need a drop in, man. Like we said, yeah, I don't think they put enough fluoride in the water. <laughs> I think we need to uh, test them. We, we, we need to uh, start our own thing and tell them we need more fluoride. Well, we need more fluoride. <laughs> Help keep our teeth clean. <laughs> like, I got too many cavities. We need more fluoride. Because, you know, that's what people believe. Oh, what, what are you going to do about our teeth, though? <laughs> like, bitch, your teeth is nasty anyway. <laughs> Proverbs 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. Oh, yeah. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Esau, listen, uh, read it again. Esau don't, man, he, go to a farm and see how they treat these animals, man. It's, un, it's unhumane. Unhumane, man, how they right. treat these animals, man. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. You know, back in the ancient world, too, that you weren't eating meat every day, a big steak minnow yeah, every day. Because you, you only had so many animals you could slaughter at a time. Right. right. If you did use meat, they use a little piece just a season what you eat, man. And now these people, they just think they going to Burger King, all these fast food restaurants every day and getting triple, double cheese, right. bacon cheeseburgers right. every day. And That's the American way, man. Having a plate full of steaks, man. Every day. Yep. Every Damn. day, yep. They get a diet coke. With no vegetables. Yeah, diet coke. <laughs> with no vegetables. Yeah, with no vegetables. The waitress <laughs> come. The waitress come, and the plate still got all the vegetables on it. Yep. You know? I can't walk and all they did was eat that half cooked steak, man. And then they still hungry. Right, right. It don't even fulfill you. Oh, that's a home. Oh, is it? Oh, that's the directions. <laughs> That's my daughter you talking to. Well, I'm talking about you, baby. <laughs> you making the money. Hey, y'all believe in America? For real. Man.
It's gonna be destroyed. He didn't even know what to answer. Man. Yeah, you in it. You know you can't say it. We're here to make America great again. That's more that. Um, that's it all. Okay. It's uh, Romans. That's it. Romans eight and nineteen. It says. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Even the animals, tree, birds, they, they wait for us to, to, to get our rulership through the power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and King David, you know, down the line, you know, the order. Anyways, for the creature was made subject to vanity, okay, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subject the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liber liberty of the children of God. But we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together unto now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we are even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. So not only the animals, trees, birds, like I said earlier. It's grown and they, they uh, sign and crying. We or if you righteous man, then you gonna cry as well. Cause that's why that's, that's the reason why we. Cause this is, uh, I might get a letter. The scripture in the Apocrypha says the, uh, the uh, uh, I forgot how it goes. Um, that the righteous is the welfare of the world. Oh so yeah. When the righteous is in the rulership, everything's gonna be good. Everything's gonna be you know uh, peaceful and uh, um, uh, go in its function. But if the wicked is ruling. Everything's gonna be. Uh, can't get the word, the word I'm looking for. All fucked up, pretty much. Yeah. Right, right, right. Everything gonna be mourning. The brick is ruined. Isaiah 14 and 8. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us. Yeah, you see, uh, they done cut cut down half the Amazon forest. They done, you know, they had cut all the forest down if they could. It'd be like in that movie, uh, remember that movie Noah where they cut down every tree in the whole planet? Right, right, right. Man, they probably did do something like that before the flood, though. Yeah, they said the wickedness of them is, was exceedingly great. Here's a prime example. Look at look at downtown, man. Before, this was a fucking... Yeah, a forest. This was a forest. This was a forest. Now look at this fucking east all everywhere. They still got part of the forest down there on the... If you go to close to that Scioto... Oh, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice down there every day. They're going to chop that down one day if yeah, they, one if they day. get the chance. They get a condo. Yeah, they're going to throw some condos. <laughs> oh, Whitehall Park, my favorite park in the city. I go out to Whitehall Park. There was a big chunk of forest. They just they just leveled it and threw up some big office buildings. Oh, what kind of faggot shit is that? Uh, you be mad. Yeah. Isaiah 55 and 12. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Oh, that trees gonna be joyous. So as a white man going down the trees, and shit gonna be clapping, man. <laughs> right, Lord will, and they be like, "Round, Lord of the Rings, oh, the, Lord of the, the, the tree." <laughs> hey, you, that'd be crazy though if that happened. <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen? But them trees were so mad that first of the trees they didn't want to battle. Remember? Yeah. But he seen that little acorn. Oh, no, he seen one of his homies dead. Yeah. He, he said, "I knew him since he was an acorn." <laughs> he got pissed. They did. They lost it. They went crazy. They man. killed all them goddamn orcs. Cause really, you know what? J.R.R. Tolkien. He wrote uh, the Lord of the Rings was the allegory in all the orcs and uh, uh, Saruman making all these instruments of war and chopping down the trees. Yeah. He wrote that during uh, around the time of World War One and World War Two. All them events uh, inspired him. And he said that Saruman and the, the orcs building the weapons of war and chopping down the forest represented the modern world of them chopping down everything, killing nature. And, and that's why the trees got pissed off. It pretty much they just line up with the scriptures. Yeah. It. Yeah. So, First Chronicles 16 and 31. <laughs> let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, Yahweh reigneth. Let the sea roar and the foolish thereof. Let the fields rejoice in all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out of the presence of Yahweh, because he cometh to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh for his good endure forever his mercy endure forever and say ye save us O God of our salvation and gather us together and deliver us and deliver us from the heathen that we may give thanks to thy name and thy gl and glory and thy praise 
Blessed be Yahweh, God of Israel, forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise Yahweh. Hey, so yeah, to so the most, that's what we call it the most high to show some mercy on us. Hey. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. In the time of the dead, that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that feared thy name. Them that feared thy name. Oh, that, 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 that's the prophets. He's, so we got a reward waiting for us. Right. And shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Yep. Destroy, who destroyed the earth? The Bible says those that destroy the earth are going to be destroyed. You know what I mean? Out of him. You got all these liberals too. They claim like they love the earth so much. That's why Al Gore passed that. Uh, he was trying to get that that green but, shit passed. But that that was all under deceit. He was yeah. just trying to get that carbon tax. That's all get some extra shekels in his pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all he wanted. He wanted them shekels. Fucking Al. Man, I mean, before I was in the truth, that was. I, I was falling for that. that was, I was loving that movie. What was that? The, uh, the Al Gore movie? I thought Al Gore is a great guy. <laughs> Man, I was in a deep sleep. I mean, I was slumbering, boy. I, was, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. But yeah, man, but you, that's because that's obvious, though. It's obvious they're destroying the earth. And you got people saying that the cars don't hurt the earth. You out your mind. You see how they're um, sinking each other oil tankers now, man. And all that oil is just going right into the water. Man. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I they was don't... watching a documentary on the, uh, the, the bombings of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know, there was a witness that actually lifted both bombs. Oh, damn. Because he got bombed in uh, Hiroshima first, right? He was a worker that worked for the shipyard. They yeah. helped, he was an engineer to help build the ships and this and that. Well, because they was under war and some reason the ships weren't coming in, um, uh, well, any, I can't remember why he went to uh, Hiroshima, but anyway, they got nuked there, right? Got nuked to Hiroshima, so they went back to Nagasaki, and Nagasaki got bombed. But anyway, he worked on the shipyard, and um, he was saying that the reason why they went certain places is because the ships weren't making it there, they were building more ships, and the ships were getting, they were sinking the ships. So they were sending in more engineers, so they were trying to build more ships quick. Right? Yeah. That was my point. I was just trying to say they were bringing in more engineers. Hey, so they he survived two nukes. Damn. He survived both of them. He must be a Jake. <laughs> right, right. So yeah. Right. dealing with him. Right. right. But they was, they was just shooting. They was just sinking cargo ships. They were sinking oil tankers. It was on a, on a daily basis, man. That was back six, 70 years ago. Right. So they're doing the same shit now. You see that one that happened in the South Carolina State? That's just one of them. People man. forget about the one that happened, uh, what, 2010 or something, down in the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico. That was a bad spill. Hell and they just stopped talking right. about it. They right. never cleaned that up. Yeah, that leak was tore horrible, man. And it wasn't Russia trying to t teach them how to clean it they up properly? It. They didn't listen? Yeah, told them to nuke it. Because Russia, the experts at everything, yeah. obviously. Right, right. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 22. They shall not. They shall not. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of the tree are as the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed and the blessed of the Lord and the offsprings with them. So what the work that we doing right now, man, it's not in vain, man. Okay. His brothers think that like they got a YouTube channel. They out in the highways and byways. Yeah. Maybe you up you upload a video. It only get five views. Yeah, they want no, one view. Hey, but what does the scripture say? Yeah, one view. I've had videos like that. You get no views. You be salty. You hit the refresh. Still no views. <laughs> you know you be you know you be all, you be checking analytics yeah. sometimes. Cause I like looking at analytics. See what countries they watching and all yeah. that. But sometimes, man, you put up a video. You be proud of it. You know, I'll be proud of a video. My favorite videos is get no views. You know what I mean? You know that video, you really proud. Man, we's like, we made well, I know that's going to be hope, fire. Hope this message get out. And nobody watch it. But you know what? Maybe 10 people watch it. And one of those 10 people start a camp and get a big camp. And that's the thing about the truth, man. You don't want to reach the You ain't no need to reach the brothers, man. It's cool. Bro. Yeah. Like listen to other brothers. But you're trying to reach those that ain't got the truth. Yep. That's why you, you, you 
pray that it reach somebody they ain't never seen the truth before. Man. We talking about preaching to the choir, the old saying goes. Right. We we're not in an echo chamber or whatever. Yeah, right. We we trying to find new sheep. Yeah, right. Well, not new. That's how we gonna get out of here. That's the only way we gonna get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what is that scripture? Uh, the one that repents is joy in heaven. Ain't that in Luke or something? Cause that's what man. You could put up a YouTube video with only five uh, five views. Yeah. But that but but that one person you could have woke up you could have woke up to one of the prophets or something you know. Yeah. Right. Matthew three and eight. Let me start up a little more. But when when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, "O generation of vipers." Who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring hey. forth therefore fruit, meat for repentance. Oh, Y'all like that? That, I, I, that was just, that was a demon that came by right there. <laughs> like she had an evil spirit on her. See, she had a, a, made us all lose attention. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was I got caught looking at that demon too. Now she had an evil spirit on her. Go ahead, read that again. Verse eight, bring forth therefore fruit, meat for repentance. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able to uh, these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Right, you gotta bring fruit, me for repentance. What's that scripture? Was it John 15? It said, bring forth fruit that remains. <laughs> that remains. I mean, you can bring forth all the fruit you want all day. You get a whole basket of fruit. You know what I mean? But if they all rotten, you know, it ain't no good. They all got worms in it. Ain't no good. The, the Lord looking for fruit to remain. You can't like you got some people they just accept any old raggedy ass Israelite into they. They just let everybody in. They're like bring them like IUIC. They let everybody in. As long as you pay your tithes. Like the Rasa. Anybody and everybody. I mean you can you can have no understanding, no diligence. They don't care as long as you paying tithes. No desire to even learn the truth. As long as you help increase their numbers and make them appear stronger. You got these churches. Yo, the, yo. That's why scripture says if you get a friend, prove them first. You can't just hey come on join us. You got you got you got sit on that side, take notes. Cause you gotta be a cause you gotta be a special kind of crazy to uh to be up in this. Hang around, yeah. Oh, oh, snap. Thank you. Good it's a pleasure to see y'all. What's up, bro? I got good news. I'm going to get my trip to Pied First and Third right to Huntington again. Oh, they said I'd be here tonight or 9 o'clock, and I'll get trip to Pied, so I have a place to live. Some place had fraud, and they're going to look into it, and they told me before I had fraud to look into it, tell them report to security. I did. That security government said, be there at 9 o'clock in the morning, we open, tell them what's going on, and you'll get rectified from the first and third and the right in time. You're a veteran? 25. You're a veteran? They don't matter about that. I'm like the same. You're a veteran? That's the fraud. They get supposed to give you money for living. They're supposed to get no money in that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they won't check it. They won't do it. So if they don't do it, you'll report to the government. They did. They did. Oh, they did. Uh oh, say it. check into it. And before I did that, other thing, they, they told me, Well, looks like you in there. My money for living expenses and they lie. But anyway, the government said they'll take care of it. So I don't want to make the crime take care of it. You are know, all good. Yeah. Yeah. Like Almost as well. Amen. Rise up and don't depart. And you know, yeah. we got some good when news. I get a direct deposit. I have a place to live in Ohio or wherever I want to live. What are yeah. you going to do when the missiles hit? Nope, it ain't about that in Mississippi. Did, did they tell you about the missiles? I'm with the AGC. I reported to Social Security in Mississippi. The government told Mississippi? Me. Uh, How did we oh, get to Mississippi? Mississippi. Missiles are going to Mississippi, too. Nope, I ain't talking that. I'm not crazy. You have a blessed day of the crime. Thank you, I believe in God. You have a blessed day to the top. So there you go. I didn't come You all have a blessed day. All right, bro. Okay. That's a Greyhound camera. Now, I'm going to joke with you, but I don't feel too consistent. I respect. And a Greyhound good horse, I respect. So I'm not going to laugh. I never laugh. Ain't nothing to laugh about. 
stay in the I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. So you won't do that in there. No cell phones are allowed. Don't be late, man. Don't be late. Hey, <laughs> no, no social security problem. I'm not that kind of place. We just got you. Oh, crazy. 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 It's okay. Oh, no, no, no. Get, hurry, read. Did, 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 read. Did, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Calm did down. Drew, Let's get it together. All the rest. Oh, I know. I don't laugh at the Lord. If you think it funny, I'll give you a marijuana joint. You can smoke marijuana. You can take a picture of yourself and smoke a weed. And, you know, I don't smoke that. Yeah, don't, that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's not good. We're reading the scriptures. God, God to made him all the God made Christians. And send us for okay, him to him. I'm listening to the word. And I believe in God. He made Lucifer. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spat this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep, and if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine and is in the wilderness, and go after them which is lost until he find it? That's what we doing out here. We looking for those lost sheep of the house of Israel. You know, Paras even said to us one time, I don't, don't, don't I'll teach it, don't I'll work it on the Sabbath. Oh, yeah, he did say that. You know, yeah. it was a Friday or Sabbath. You're supposed to teach on the Sabbath. The Sabbath is when you met in the synagogue and you did you studied. Right, right. That's not work. That's the Lord's work. That's a different kind of work. That's the word of the Bible, please, sir. No blab. What's that? All right. What man no, thank you. I already read that. So like, and when he I found it, he left it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he has come home, he called together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. For I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over one ninety. Yeah. Right. 99, I yeah. read that. It's true. Right, because right. everybody come out here laughing at us. Like, ain't nobody Listen, listening. That's three. Yeah. I've been to church. Yeah. I never believe in the Lord. Let's More listen. than over 99 that just persons. Right. They already me. saying, so what's the point of being right. excited? No, I got to listen to God's word. Please. Please. All these people? Oh. It's a message to oh. God. Oh. 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 I'll be quiet. I'm trying now, to listen what, to God's word. Solomon said that amongst uh, all sheep, these I have I found I amongst a thousand men. But one sheep I found that was one, lost. one righteous. You know what I mean? Yep. One, 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 man. So it's a, it's today. Special. One day is a word for every day. It's I know. Special. I understand the Bible. I read that. Right. Right. It's special to find that one brother, man. You found a brother? Come right. on, man. A yep. brother? Somebody right. call him. See, this is why we out here, man, to heal the sick, man. Yep. You know, you know, the sick need it, man. That's a Jake, man. Jake needs the hell up out of here, man. I'm sorry. You feel like that. You're nervous as that can be. You know, I got the word. Oh, I wish I had some chariots coming. <laughs> I just the word of God. One last week, God would tell you the story for the church. The church started on the first third of the bank. Oh, they shut the government down, though. Oh, yeah, they did shut the government down. Oh, they, they shut SS up. checks going out? <laughs> all right, brother. God bless you. All right, now. Guys, have a blessed day in the Lord. It's all taken care of, and we're all good. I don't know about Canada, Bob. No, this is what. This is a. Uh, this is for lessons, no, no, no. so brothers can learn the, the scriptures. Bob, I don't go with cameras. I got the word. I just. All right. I read for the man. We got you. These kids just see that. Go home. Go home. Read the Bible. Go read the Bible. Don't laugh. I'm not. Don't laugh. Make it work. Laughter. Wow. I ain't mad. That, came that's the most high, though. Yeah. That's the most high testing us. He's like, now, y'all thought y'all had it easy today. I'm going to send y'all something. <laughs> He's coming back. Oh, what the fuck? You got to go. Yep, this. Mama, I love the camera. They're all in good taste, Bob. Christian, Mama wants the word recorded on camera. I don't know what to say, Jim. I'm just going to go home. You're good, bro. Go well, we out of here. I'm turning the camera off. I'm turning it off. All right. All right. So, all right. Shalom, all, all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakaqa Dash. We out of here.